Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Ian K. where today I'm over at good old BK to take a look at one of the three new items they have available on their menu for a limited time only. That's right, so stay tuned because the Whopper Melt is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, so get ready for it because this thing is already living up to its name. Guys, feast your eyes on the Whopper Mel. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Tons of cheese, tons of caramelized onions on this one. And obviously, guys, it is looking very gluttonous. Just look at this thing. Let's break it on down. All right, so starting us off, what we've got here is some toasted bread. And underneath it, guys, plenty of caramelized onions and stacker sauce. There's a lot of it on here. But as we pan down, you're going to see buried amongst all the American cheese is two Whopper Junior patties, equaling a total of a quarter pound of beef. It looks a little on the small side, but guys, it is decked out with cheese, and it really looks absolutely delicious. The aroma in my car right now is straight up cheese and stacker sauce. And again, the presentation is absolutely killer. Talk about living up to its name, right? So let's not waste any more time on this one. This is the all new Whopper Melt here at BK. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, this is definitely checking off the boxes of aroma and absolute presentation. I have to say this is looking really, really awesome. And aside from the fact of this feeling like a little bit of a small sandwich, because it does feel like it looks kind of small too, guys, the thickness of it is definitely on point. So without further ado, finally, let's do it. It's the all new Whopper Melt here at BK. Let's peep this out. Oh. Heavy, heavy cheese and beef. Mm. All right, well, first off, don't let the toasted bread fool you because the appearance of it looks like it's toasted, but it does feel fairly soft when I go into it. I don't think you heard any crunch there and I didn't feel any, but guys, take a look at this. Definitely a meaty situation. They're the small patties for the Whopper over here at BK, but man, the thickness is on point. The cheese is on point, the light sweetness of that stacker sauce, and there is plenty of caramelized onions, guys. Very gluttonous and very tasty, as you'd expect it to be. It looks fantastic and it tastes pretty awesome. Let's keep going in. Mmm, yeah. You know, it's been a minute since I've had stacker sauce, and while I originally kind of feel like it's their version of Big Mac sauce over here at BK, it's a little bit on the sweeter side, so you're definitely getting that immediately up front, right after the girth and the beefiness that you're getting with the mouthfeel. And guys, I have to say again, with the cheesy action, this is more than living up to its name. It is very, very gluttonously cheesy, and the caramelized onions are adding a nice dimension of flavor. Definitely digging this. Yeah, this is definitely a banger of an option over here at BK, and it really feels distinctly different because it's not a regular King Burger. It's a smaller version of the King Burgers, the Whopper Junior Patties, but what they're doing with it is definitely a banging situation. And real quick, let me send a shout out over to Jesus and the Tortilla, AKA the Stupid Food Review Show, because he actually checked this one out when it was testing in his area a couple of months ago. And I'm so glad that all of us now have the ability to give this one a shot nationwide. Definitely delicious stuff. So let's go for another couple of bites on this one, guys. Like I said, it's very gluttonous, very flavorful, and you'd expect nothing less from meat, cheese, and caramelized onions with a special sauce. And again, on semi-toasted bread, at least in the appearance department. Let's keep going in. You know, for some of you peeps who think BK really lathers their burgers up with mayo, they absolutely lather this up with that stacker sauce. It is adding such a flavorful dimension. But again, elevated sweetness on top of the caramelized onions and the light oiliness that I'm getting from that, along with the melted cheese and of course that flame grilled beef over here. Guys, I haven't had a Whopper Junior in a minute either. These are actually pretty good. They're a little bit more of an upper scale version of a value patty. But when you have a quarter of a pound total with this one, with these two together, Definitely a lovely situation indeed. Just delicious stuff, guys. I keep telling you guys throughout this review because it really is. It's freaking delicious. All right, all right, enough of that for right now. Let's go for one more final bite on this one before we wrap the review up with the rating coming up next. But guys, the Whopper melts are no joke. This is definitely a serious situation. What looks kind of small initially when you unwrap it really delivers in the thickness and the overall flavor. Pretty banging. Let's go for one more bite and we'll close it up. Hang on. Well, if ever there was a burger that really deserved a burger diaper, this is definitely one of them, guys. This really needs to have something to protect you in the back because there's plenty of caramelized onions, plenty of that stacker sauce that's going to fall out on you here. You got to be careful. Have a lot of napkins. But what you're going to get is something very flavorful and totally worthy of that melt name. This is definitely a banging situation and something very delicious if you love meat and cheese, which I'm willing to bet it's pretty much just about all of you guys watching this right now. Pretty awesome. Wow, guys, talk about a hyper mini double cheeseburger. The addition of caramelized onions in that stacker sauce really takes this one up a notch. And I really like the touch of having the bread being just instead of the standard bun, you're getting some toasted bread. Even though it doesn't really feel like toasted bread, it looks like toasted bread. But it feels almost like a sourdough type of burger when you're eating it, even though it doesn't have the sourdough bread. The presentation and the overall mouthfeel and the flavor is just off the chart. So an easy recommendation to give this one a shot. It really is classic BK. And like I said, it lives up to that Mel name. 
So for this version of the Whopper Melt, I'm gonna have to give it a pretty rock solid nine out of 10. Like I said, it's classic BK, it's vintage BK, and especially with all those flavors being very timeless over here, the addition of that stacker sauce and caramelized onions, that's the wild card to really elevate this one flavor-wise. What you're gonna get otherwise is a pretty decent value for what you've got there in terms of the meat department. It's a quarter pound of beef with plenty of cheese to go with, guys. But like I said, it delivers. And again, it's absolutely warranted to have that Melt name in the title. Definitely a banging situation. All right, so you already know the other two versions of these Whopper Melts are gonna be coming up here on the channel very, very soon. So if you are gonna be giving this one a shot, which I'd venture to guess you're probably going to if you're this far into the review, do me a quick favor. Drop some comments down below. What are your initial thoughts of this one in general and how was the experience for you? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. All right, everyone, so stay tuned for both the spicy and the bacon variant of this all new Whopper Melt. And I gotta say, if those are half as good as what I've just experienced right now, I have a feeling I'm in for a treat. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.